All right, here we go. Number nine from our college algebra homework number two in my lab math. We have another rational equation we need to solve. We know that this is a rational equation because we have a variable in the denominator. And so I've copied this down over here in my screen so we can work at it, uh, work on it. Let's get started. The first thing that I'm going to do, knowing that this is a rational equation, and I would like to use the kill off the fraction technique, I need every term to be a fraction. So we're going to take the Z and the 4 and F it up. We can fraction those up by putting them over 1. Any whole number can be made into a fraction by putting it over 1. And then I'm going to go through and see what each denominator needs so that they all have the same stuff. So this middle denominator has a Z with an understood coefficient of 1, so he has a 1 and a Z. The first denominator only has the 1. He needs the Z. Whatever I do to the bottom, I have to do to the top. And notice if I multiply that by Z, that's going to make that Z squared. The last denominator also needs a Z. Whatever I do to the bottom, I have to do to the top. And now notice that all of the denominators are identical. They're all Z, and so we can effectively cancel them out. All right, so what does that leave me with? I've got Z squared plus 3 equals negative 4Z. And now I need you to notice that we do have a z squared, and that makes the equation quadratic, which means I need to set it equal to 0. So we're going to bring the negative 4z over, giving me z squared. That's going to become plus 4z plus 3 equal to 0. And the technique that I'm going to choose to solve this quadratic is factoring. So to factor a trinomial, the first step is we're going to put down our parentheses. The second step is read the signs. So when the last sign is a plus, that says, hey, I've got to look over here. And the signs are both going to be plus. So a plus at the back makes these signs the same. And they're both whatever the first one is. Now, for the third step, we're going to fill in the blanks. To make a z squared, I have to have a z and a z. And for the other two blanks, I'm going to need two numbers that multiply to make 3 and add to make 4. And the only numbers that multiply to make 3 are 1 and 3. Luckily, they do add to make 4. So now that I have this factored, I'm going to set each factor equal to 0, and then solve. Moving the 1 and the 3, we're going to get z equal negative 1 and negative 3. And so I do get two solutions. Now to check to make sure that those are uh, not correct, but mm, acceptable, I guess. You need to go back to the original problem and make sure that plugging in either one of those answers will not make the denominator zero. So the only uh, denominator that I had to begin with was this denominator of z. And if I plug in negative 1 and negative 3, they definitely don't make the denominator zero. So they're both uh, acceptable answers. And so let's see here. On my math lab, we do have two solutions. We have negative 1, comma, negative 3. All right, fingers crossed. Yeah, all right. I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comment section below, or you can text me. And thanks for watching.